Nico, device mm -hmm. management. Um, can you fill me in quickly? Because one of my customers, an airport operator, mm -hmm. has been asking me what do we have in terms of devices and communication options. Yeah, so, cool, of course. So first let's make sure the basics are correct. Mm -hmm. So I mean this device management we are talking about, it's an integral part of the Nokia Digital Automation Cloud, mm -hmm. which is the full end-to-end -end solution, network as a service for private 4G and 5G. Um, network needs yep. of enterprise customers. And the devices, such as, you know, routers, USB dongles, different handhelds, tablets, those in the device management, they are integral part of this NDAC cloud. Okay, uh, right, but once they choose their devices, mm -hmm. so can you tell me how the whole thing would work, the management of it? Uh, we provide this tool called Nokia DAC Manager mm -hmm. and the, both, of the, both the network as well as these devices can be managed with the same tool from your customer's point of view. So that's a clear benefit for the customers. Then also the device management is part of the Nokia DAC catalog, which is actually a place where you have multiple different applications and device management being one of them, mm -hmm. that you can actually go and deploy um, as a customer on top of your existing network infrastructure. Okay, but device management per se is nothing new. So what's the secret there? What's what's unique about it? Yeah, there are a couple of things that are unique in it. So, mm -hmm. well, first of all is of course that this is now integrated with the rest of the network. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to have a different tools for managing the devices compared to the rest of the network. It all comes together via this Nokia uh, DAC manager. That's one benefit. The other one is that of course these devices they are pre-integrated with the network that is like designated for your customer needs. Mm -hmm. So the devices support plug and play and they are upfront when you get them as a customer. Mm -hmm. You just, you know, install the device wherever you need it and it will automatically work as part of this full end-to-end -end network and it is actually also already optimized for your customer needs. Which mm -hmm. is a pretty big benefit for your customer. Okay, okay, let's, on a concrete level then, let's see what... What you can do with it, right? Yeah, more or less, yeah. yes. Yeah, so as a customer, I mean, what are the important things that you can see? So first of all, we have here this DAC manager tool, right? Okay. And as part of it, you have here the device section. Mm. And under the device section, you have then this device management. And with the device management, there are like three key actions that as a customer, you can see and do here. So okay. first of all, you can monitor the fleet of the device. You see all of the devices that are part of your network mm -hmm. here. You can uh, also do simple actions like change the parameters of these devices. Okay. And then you can do like actions for a big number of devices with one go if you want to like, you know, manage larger portfolio of devices with one, one go. Okay, because my airport customer has like hundreds of devices. Mm -hmm. So how, like what's, is there a limit or how many it can be managed? Well, it's really scalable. Okay. And that's also one of the benefits. So it doesn't matter whether you have one or whether you have hundred or even thousands of devices mm -hmm. as part of the network. You can use the same tool and all the same things work for that, you know, customer of thousands of devices compared to just a handful of okay. them. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, that's, uh, that's the setup that you were, you were talking about earlier, but I'm yeah. actually also interested in the operations. So can you touch on both? Yeah, sure, sure. So as I said, the, as a part of the setup, the big benefit really is this plug and play from your customer point of view. Okay. So the devices get automatically connected and actually when they get connected, they also get the latest software upgrades if there are any available. Mm -hmm. So you can always as a customer, be sure that your devices are running the latest software upgrade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, from the like operational benefits point of view, uh, one key benefit is that as a service, together with the rest of the network, since we provide this device management as a service, mm -hmm. it means that we also provide always the latest and greatest software versions for these devices. So they will get the firmware updates, software updates, uh, without you as a customer needing to do anything specific for it. Also, of course, you can now like said, monitor actively how these devices are performing in your network. Mm -hmm. So it's quite essential for your customer, like an airport operator, that if there are this kind of business critical um, devices or devices which are attached to business critical use case or function, mm -hmm. you can make sure that those are working and performing as expected. So you can monitor them here from the tool. You can even get alerted if there is any deviation from performance point of view with these devices. So like if, um, if one of them was to leave the area, um, it could be uh, like 
locked if it travels outside of a designated area, per se? Yeah, that's okay. a great case example of okay. this kind of a uh, add-on features that right. we can support on top of the device management. So if your device supports uh, geolocation, you can create a rule which basically mm. locks the device if that leaves the area. Okay. And then, for example, for that kind of a case, if you have a handheld which is used at the airport area and the like operator wants to make sure that there is absolutely no value for that device if it's taken outside of the airport okay. area, you can build that rule with this tool and okay. you know then you will get even alerted if that device leaves and the device itself will be automatically locked. Okay, so, um, okay, well, let's see. Let's take this, let's have a look here. Um, how could you, well, I guess mm -hmm. it's automatic. I was going to ask, let's say, if we turn this on and see yeah. how can, you could walk me through um, w what's happening in the device management tool with this. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. very good. So okay. now when you turn it on, yeah. it takes a while that it gets connected to the network. Mm -hmm. And when it gets connected, like I said, that is already like pre-provisioned. Mm -hmm. It has the correct parameters set, it has the SIM card in it, it can connect to the network that mm -hmm. you as a customer own. Mm -hmm. And now, I mean, now you can already see it appearing mm -hmm. here. Yep. So you can see that the device came automatically online active. It's listed in the device management. Mm -hmm. And now basically it is ready for you to start doing any actions via this device management tool that you want to do specifically for that device. Or then of course you can put that device to be part of one of these groups mm -hmm. that are existing here and then manage it as a member of this bigger group. Right. One additional benefit, so now you can see here, it mm -hmm. started to download the latest software version yeah. already, so it will automatically get as set the latest software and firmware um, versions downloaded when okay. it gets first time connected. Okay. Um, looks like, if I'm reading this right, it looks like I've got 200 existing yep, devices correct. detected. Okay. Um, what about the grouping option that you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier? So how does that work exactly? Yeah, it's actually pretty flexible. Flexible. Okay. So we have a like um, advanced filtering option based yeah. on which you can select number of different devices. You can you know select them based on the model or type or mm -hmm. serial number or any of the okay. items that are available here. Like nickname could be one example. Uh -huh. And then out of those filtering rules, you can then create these multiple different groups mm -hmm. and then based on those groups you can then do these actions okay. on a group level instead of managing that individual device. Okay, do you want to maybe give it one practical example with one of the other form factors maybe? Yeah, sure. One example could be that you have like a, let's say you have a router which is part of the network. Okay. And you have a change in terms of the use case, how that router is utilized and used. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden that is more critical, for example, from the latency and throughput point of view for your network. Mm -hmm. So you can go here, select the router, and you can change the QoS, so the quality of service yeah, parameters right. for that particular router so that it supports this more latency critical use case okay. that we started to, to use now in the network. Cool. Okay. Um, just to change gears a bit, I've been thinking also that um, team comms Mm -hmm. would Nokia Teamcoms would be a really good fit for some of my customers and I'm wondering how does the installation work uh, for that yeah. to say like 100 devices. So. Yeah. Great example and I mean that also shows this benefit of this end-to-end -end integration yeah. what we have. So the Teamcoms it's part of this um, Nokia DAC catalog. Okay. So it's an application similar to the device management. And now when you go to this app catalog here in the, the DAC manager mm -hmm. you can actually select and take use that new Teamcoms application. And together with that, there is a software taken mm -hmm. from our data center and it's actually deployed locally on the edge that is residing here with the customer. And the devices can then get this Teamcoms application as well, automatically mm -hmm. downloaded via this device management. Mm -hmm. And that goes only, of course, to the devices which are relevant from the Teamcoms point of view. So these kind of gadgets which are routers and, you know, not relevant from the voice or video communication point of view, they are naturally not getting that uh, application either. Okay. Um, what about the security aspect? I guess you sort of touched on that, but like, mm -hmm. just how can I be absolutely sure that all devices then are running the latest version of yeah. the software? So, I mean, there is like multiple layers to that one. So first of all, of course, it's quite critical that the devices are always having the latest software version available. Okay. As part of the service, what we do is that we make sure for the customer that they always have the latest software available. Mm -hmm. We do acknowledge that there are use cases which are so critical that you cannot do those software updates whenever you want. Mm. So there is also a possibility to time those updates from okay. customer point of view. So you can go here and select that, hey, I want now apply this software update instead of automatic setting all the devices with the latest software version. 
the additional benefit is that this software is actually getting deployed to the devices from the edge uh, hardware point of view. Mm -hmm. So these devices that are part of the network, they do not need to contact the internet as it's normally with the device management solutions to get the latest software versions, mm -hmm. but they can securely stay within the, the intranet premises okay. of, of your customer and get all the software right. updates via the edge. Okay, okay. Handy, very mm -hmm. handy. Okay, so um, on another note, because we're talking about critical connectivity, um, and I'm thinking about the airport again. So, uh, like, can you show me how, from the tool here, I can see that all the devices are working properly at yeah, any yeah, given so, time? Yeah, yeah, that's the one benefit, what I said, that there is this possibility to monitor all the devices. Okay. So you can see here the overview of the devices, and if there is any, like, critical issue with any of the devices, you will actually see an alarm an here, okay. and you can also get alerted with that kind of alarms okay. um, when, when and if they happen. Okay, that's clear. And actually, this has been really super useful. So thank you Good. for that. Yeah. Thank Thanks you so. so much for taking the time. Brilliant. Thank you. All right.